Your first yoga prop is your body. The second is probably your mat. There are a huge variety of mats available and many factors to consider before you buy. Durability and weight, the material and texture, thickness and comfort, stickiness too much can be as bad as too little, the price, and the environmental cost. As a starting point, talk to a few people in your class and compare notes. Then read the small print before making your choice. If you're taller, consider buying a slightly longer mat to make all the difference. Whatever you decide, treat your mat well. Clean it carry according to the manufacturer's instructions, and it should last you a lifetime. There are plenty of yoga mats to choose from here. How to use your yoga mat as a prop stability, spread flat on the floor, your mat provides a stable base for all your poses. The texture and stickiness of the surface allows you to work safely, even when your feet are very wide, and when balance and stability are needed. Alignment Most mats are a standard shape and size for good reason. They provide a width and length suitable for most body sizes. The width of the mat corresponds to the distance between arm and leg, the average length of the trunk. So with feet on one of the long edges and hands on the other, you'll find you have a comfortable extension for the sides of your body. For Savasana, corpse pose the mat should be long enough to have both the back of your head and your heels on the mat. More important than this is the effect of the straight edges on your peripheral vision, particularly when combined with any markings on the floor, such as floorboards. Keep your mat properly aligned with the room and you'll find your feet line up more easily and with less effort for the standing poses. Comfort When you need extra padding or grip, a folded mat is more stable than a blanket. The mat can be folded and the edges can be rolled to provide extra cushioning as required. If you have an old mat, don't throw it out. You can cut it in half and use each section for softening the back or seat of a chair, for instance. If you're working with a folded mat, in on a headstand, for instance, bear in mind that the extra cushioning may come at the cost of some stability. During Savasana, corpse pose, the mat retains your body heat and helps to keep you warm on a cold floor. A sense of place, in time, simply spreading out your mat and stepping onto it becomes synonymous with peace, calm and equilibrium. The act itself becomes a form of moving meditation. Place it carry wherever you are in the space contained by your mat will be your gateway to the divine. Find a mat that's the right size for you here. Poses to try using your yoga mat prasarita patitanasana wide leg forward bend. As you learn to take your feet wider in standing poses, your mat provides a secure base for your feet from which to extend your legs. It also gives straight edges so you can be sure your alignment is correct. Place your heels on the back, long, edge of your mat, feet very wide, hands on hips. Lift your trunk and look ahead, pressing the outer edges of your feet down and lifting your inner ankles up. Extend your whole leg, hip to ankle. Maintain the extension and keep your back firm as you bend forward to take your hands to the floor, on the front edge of your mat. For stiff hamstrings use a chair, bricks. Notice how your legs want to stop working when your hands go down. As you become more flexible, you'll be able to take your hands back between your feet and your head down. But until then, working in this interim stand is very helpful. It'll help you develop strength and flexibility in the structure PF your legs, from ankles to hips. Alignment of the feet in Trikonasana This time, try using the front, long, edge of the mat to learn how to align your feet correctly in this classic asana. First, you take your feet apart and then turn them to the right, left foot slightly in, right foot at 90 degrees. At this point, the heel of your front foot should be in line with the arch of the back foot. Alignment and resistance in Jathara Paravadasana Belly Turning Pose In this abdominal twist, align your shoulders and arms with the top of the mat, head will be on the floor, and hold tight. Pull the mat with the left hand as you bend your knees and turn your knees towards the right. This gives you both alignment and stability as well as resistance. Rolling. The Yoga Matters Eco Travel Mat folds easily. 
Folding the mat in half gives you a target for your toes, to bring your feet in well before attempting to kick up in Sersasona. Fun Facts Originally, yoga was practiced on the floor or on a rug. Yoga came to the West via BKS Iyengar. And when he started teaching and demonstrating, he discovered that in most hotels and conference centers, they had carpets which were slippery for students practicing their standing poses. What he also discovered at the same time was what was often underneath the carpets, underlay. BKS Iyengar managed to order this from Germany, at that time a thin green rubber material, little knowing the revolution that he had begun. Feeling inspired. Shop all yoga matters yoga mats here. Rachel and Hannah love Grover sisters who learned yoga as teenagers from their mother. They later trained and qualified as certified Iyengar yoga teachers and have both been teaching yoga for over 20 years. Rachel lives in Southampton and runs Orange Tree Yoga. Hannah lives in Dorset where she runs classes and workshops and has her own natural skincare range, Love Grove Essentials.